Since all the plans were canceled for the day, I thought maybe I could have a check up if she has an open appointment. Yeah. I bet you were busy all morning calling everybody. Well, with the help from Lyle and Edward, I think we got most of the people before they got to the church. Tracy never ceases to amaze me. I would have bet you that she would have wanted to be a bride in front of everybody, no matter what had happened last night. Well, maybe she's getting to be a little more cautious. Hmm. How is Mitch? Alan drains the dressing on his wound. He seems fine. He just should be very lucky that Roy wasn't a better shot. I feel so sorry for Bobby. Imagine loving someone and not knowing that they were capable of that kind of violence. Well, I better get down the X-ray there, waiting for me. Oh, no, nothing serious. No, no, just uh, Dana wants to have some X-rays taken as a kind of precaution. You know, Rick and I want very much to have a wonderful, healthy baby, just just like the one you're going to have. Oh, yes, I know Rick wants a son very badly. I hope you'll have one someday. So do I. Thank you. And I will see you a little later on, okay? Go back. Hi there. Oh, Rick. How are you feeling after your ordeal last night? Well, uh, a little shaky. Uh, Dana just gave me a prescription to kind of calm things down. Well, would you like to wait here with me? Uh, well, you wait for you? Sure, thanks. What would you like? Um. I'd like some herb tea. Up. Oh, One more herb tea coming up, please. Coming up. Leslie said she uh, saw you uh, going in to see Dana. Oh, uh, yeah. Your uh, regular prenatal check -in. Well, with uh, all the confusion about the thank you, wedding being canceled, you know. Monica. Oh. Well, I oh. said I felt a little shaky. Uh, actually, I really thought it was just all the excitement from uh, last night, but uh, it turned out that last night this morning I was spotting, so... Dana's running tests. To see that everything's all right, yes. Oh, and by the way, uh, she said I really should ease off on the OR schedule now. Absolutely. I'll talk to Steve. I don't want anything happening to your baby. Thanks. Leslie envies you a little bit. Because of the baby? Because you're pregnant by the man you love. I love Alan. I do. I know. And uh, I really don't want him to know about uh, my problem. I'm not going to say anything. Thank you. So, how, how are Scotty and Laura? That's very hard to tell. Scotty has a meeting with the counselor down at the rape center today. It's just Scotty? Yes, it, it's a preliminary uh, to the same person that Laura saw. I just hope it goes well for her. Rick, look, uh, Laura has to have that therapy. She really does if she's going to get better. I believe that. I believe it with all my heart. I'm in Lee's office um, about the stolen deposition. Can you talk right now? Well, not really. Um, it's Howard. No hospital emergency. Why don't you go ahead? I'm going to go. I'll, I'll get back as soon as I can. Call me if you can look here. Of course I will. Yes, Howard. What's up? Uh, well, there's nothing new, I'm afraid. I just want to keep you posted, but uh, we're still hoping. It's like living with a time off. I know, I know. It must be very difficult for you and Monica. Look, all I can tell you is for what little it's worth. Don't think about it. That's not easy, Howard. <laughs> well, there's not much anybody can do about it. You know, the next move is up to the person who stole it. I understand. Well, look, Lee and I will let you know the minute we know anything. Howard. Yeah. You and Lee think someone will try to blackmail me or Monica, don't you? You don't have to answer that. I know one day that's... that's gonna happen. reaching for a bath towel. Well, the baby's all right, Monica. That's all that matters. Yes. Monica, before we go downstairs, I want to thank you for everything you've done. Well, I haven't done anything. You just saved me from social disgrace. Calling all the guests and telling them that the bride and groom had other plans in mind. 
Getting me off the hook with all my friends? Monica, I say you did a lot. Well, I was happy to do it, Tracy. I know, and it mystifies me. Monica, we've never been friends. But we are a part of the same family. Monica, we have a feud going on. I haven't forgiven you for carrying a male child. Look, Tracy, if it is all about money, it if has it's nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with money. It's the game I don't like losing. Well, would you, uh, consider a truce? Hostilities to be resumed at a given notice? Something like that. I could go for that. It'll give me time to settle down with Mitch. He's really all I want to think about right now. You really do love him, don't you, Tracy? And it isn't uh, just a game. Monica, he's my life. Well, why don't we go downstairs? Okay, uh, just one other thing before we do. Uh, I don't like to win anything by default. I don't understand. I'm talking about my brother. Has Alan been behaving himself? Alan's been wonderful. There's a tiger asleep in that man. And as long as it's sleeping, Alan is charming and kind and generous. But if it gets woken up, he's a very different person, Monica. I know. In fact, when we were little, I saw him almost kill a neighbor boy. Tracy, I know about his temper. Just don't do anything. To ever awaken that tiger, okay? Did you? Very well. Tracy seems happy. Yeah, well, she's still on her honeymoon. You look tired. Was it too much for you? No, no, I feel fine. Are you in a lot of pain? No, not really. Uh, listen, I'm going to stop by Loris for a little bit and then go on to the hospital and do some late afternoon rounds. Monica, I was so hoping that you'd stay home for a few days. I would climb the walls, Helen. Come on, I know I can't assist in OR, but I can do some routine chores. Unfortunately, Dana agrees with you. I'd really put my foot down. I need to keep busy. When are you going to accept the fact that you're pregnant, that you're going to have a baby? When are you going to stop being a male chauvinist? I thought I was being a husband who just cared about his wife. And you don't think that I care about the baby? Of course I know that you care, Monica, but... You see, to me, what happens to the two of you is my entire life. Yes, I know that. I can't be your entire life, Ellen. Nor can the baby. Look, uh, can I say something? Sure, anything. I really, I really don't know exactly how to put it. Uh, but it has to do with something that Tracy said today. Uh-huh. And what did my dear sister have to say something about me, no doubt? Well, Tracy's not the only one. Lala has told me this story before. It's about the time that you... that you almost killed a neighborhood boy when you were a child. Yes, it's true, um... He stole a watch that belonged to me. It was the first watch that I'd ever owned. Well, was it valuable? No. It was just the kind of watch that you would give to a boy. But it was mine. It belonged to me, and he wouldn't give it back. <laughs> you know, I still get angry when I think about it now. I'm afraid of you sometimes, Alan. Of me? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I really don't think that you know what what kind of rages you really go into. I mean, I think that you could. You could kill somebody, and you wouldn't even know it until it was over. I would never do you any harm. I think that I'm capable of killing to protect you or our baby, but that's because you belong to me, Monica. You're mine. Well, that's what I mean, Alan. You're... It's the possessiveness. Helen, you're talking to me and you're saying that you love me. But actually, you're saying you own me, that I am a possession, just like that watch was a possession. Listen to me. You're my life. I couldn't go on without you. I 
have such a need to protect you. I, I don't know if I could control myself if something threatened you. Now, what do you call that if it isn't love? A frightening kind of love. I don't mean for it to be. I suppose I do go a little bit crazy when something threatens our life together. You know, when that deposition was stolen from Lee's office, I could have killed Tracy. You still think she, uh, had a hand in all of this? I don't know. I can't prove a thing, but I certainly think it's the kind of stunt that she might have pulled. Well, don't you think we would have heard something from her by now? No, not necessarily. I think that whoever stole it, I think they've read it and they realize that there isn't a damn thing that they could use against you. If there was, and you read it, Alan, what would you do? 